okay now we can start with the android application development so for this application we need an application server here i'm going to use the local host as the application server here i'm going to working with a warm server application so now the warm server application is running open your browser Uh, go to php my admin here i already created a database called uh, contacts db uh, that database contain a table called uh, contacts and this is the structure of the table the table contain two columns id and the name here id is the primary key and name is of type variable character so this is our database so for this application uh, we need a database and we need some php script on the server side so now i will show you the php script on server side go to the installation folder of arm server here i create a folder called the sync demo in that folder here we have a php script so first here i declare some variables like your username password server name and database name and here a response is an array i think there is no need of this variable okay so here uh, simply we declare some variables username password server name and database name the first thing we have to establish a connection to the database so for that here i use a function called mysql like connect so for that method you need to pass parameters like your server name your database username password and database name so this this method will establish a connection to the database and we save that information in this variable called the connection so here we check that variable if connection that means if connection is success uh, we have to do something otherwise uh, in that case uh, we declare a variable status and save some value called failed okay if the connection is success uh, we have to get the data from the application that means the application send the name of the user so we get the name we suppose that the application use the http post method and here the key is name now we need to create now we need to add that information to the database that means the table so for that uh, we need some sql statement so here is the sql statement insert into contacts here the value is available on this variable called the name okay now we need to execute that sql query for that here i use a function called the mysql like query uh, for that method you need to pass two parameters first one is the connection and second one is the query and after executing this sql query we save the result into a variable called the result uh, there is no need of this statement okay so here we check some condition if the result that means if the sql query executed properly in that case uh, we change the variable value status into ok otherwise that means if there is any error occur while try to execute the sql query in that case uh, we change the variable value status into failed and finally here we output that data uh, before going to output that data here we perform some json encode uh, with key response and here we output the value of the variable status and here the output is a simple json object with one property called the response so this is the php script available on the web server so before going to use this php script with the android application we can test it uh, for that here within the same folder that means the sync demo folder here i place an html file so we can test it now so open your browser uh, open that file here is the html form so from the form we can send some data to the app server i add some data and submit it 
and this is the response from the application server here this is a json object uh, with one property here the property name is response and here the value is okay now we can check the database and here is the data so this is the application server side now we can start with the android application